The pandemic thing is an interesting question, but probably not something that we really need to get into now. Do, wait, 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 hold on. Do, do, do tell. Give me the short version. Well, um, the motivations of the people who made the decisions about how to deal with the pandemic, particularly in the United States of America, were based on the, you know, on the thing that everything's based on, which is bottom line and profit and all of that, and not based upon the needs of the people. Um, which is why there's a million dead, you know, and in China there's about half a dozen. Um, but we can never trust their numbers, right? I mean, we have no idea. Oh, bollocks. How many Don't give me the old Russian-Chinese propaganda nonsense. You, you believe whatever the Chinese would tell you in terms of the death count? I believe whatever people who are um, neutral right. will tell me about what's going. Where can you find news? And don't tell me you have proper me. news on from, CNN. From me. Okay. Come from, on, I'm balanced. Well, how would you know? Where do you get your information I, I, from? Roger, I don't talk for a living. I, by the way, I've missed you. I can tell already. Holy <laughs> crap. I read for a living. I don't talk for a living. All I do is consume news. And my yeah, whole mantra is you got to change the channel and mix up your news diet or you're not getting a straight story. Well, good for you. And good luck with that theory. If you're going to spend all your time sitting around reading what comes out of Fox and the New York Times and the Washington Post and yeah. all that other crap that's out there in the mainstream, two strangers passing in the street, by chance two gl passing glances meet, and I am you and what I see is me. That is my message. I and that was on Medal which was in 1970. And basically, my message hasn't changed. I recognize your humanity, but I recognize all the Russians and the Chinese and the Ukrainians and the Yemenis and the Palestinians and the Germans and the French and the Spanish and the Ecuadorians and the Peruvians and the Colombians. Well done, by the way, Colombia. You've finally got a president who isn't in the pocket of United States of America businessmen, and maybe your people will start getting a fair shake. Are you an equal opportunity offender on this tour? Here's why I ask. I remember the last tour, of course I came and watched, very much you know, about Trump. And in the current show, you've got a montage of war criminals, according to you, and a picture apparently of President Biden on the screen and it says, just getting started. What's mm. that all about? President Joe Biden? Yeah. Well, he's fueling the fire in the Ukraine for a start. That is a huge crime. Why won't the United States of America uh, encourage Zelensky, or whatever his name is, the president, to negotiate and, and to explain why, when he stood on the platform of, of uh, ratifying the Minsk agreements, which he did when he was elected by 73 percent of the Ukrainian population that was left able to vote. After that, somebody either whispered in his ear or he completely changed his mind about making peace in the Donbass and about solidifying the Minsk, uh, Minsk agreements and making peace with their Russian neighbors and obviating the need for this horrific, horrendous war but you're, that's you're killing you're blaming how, we don't know how many Ukrainians. But you're blaming are the, the party Russians. that got invaded. Come on, you've got it reversed. Well, no, I, well, that's that you. You know, any war. When did it start? What you need to do is look at the history, and you can say, well, it started on this day. You could say it started in 2008. Okay, it's basic. This war is basically about the action and reaction of NATO pushing right up to the Russian border, which they promised they wouldn't do when Gorbachev negotiated the withdrawal of the USSR from the whole of Eastern Europe. He said, we will do this on one condition, that you don't come one inch closer to the Russian border than the eastern borders of Germany. And you lot, if I may include you in it, as an American, agreed to that and said, sure. And you've Are totally... You okay? Why it's doesn't the USA sue for peace now? Don't they care about but, Ukrainians? But you're, you're, why are they prolonging this war? It could be ended tomorrow. If Joe Biden stood up on his hind legs and said, let's put a stop to this, it would end 
tomorrow. I don't know. No would, more would, would, it, would it end with Putin taking the Donbass and everything he wants in eastern Ukraine? You have to criticize well, Putin. On, Before we move on, What about you have the to, people who live in the Donbass? Do I have relatives. They, I have relatives listen, in the Donbass. Listen, after the illegal USA-inspired coup in, in 2014 that put out the democratically elected government of the Ukraine, they, the Russians were completely clear about how they felt about that. Which, You're and this is, this is part of my work, right? Because particularly with it, we, within the context of the whole Israel-Palestine thing, right? Which some Jewish people have a problem with and others don't, but we all think about whether we're Jewish or not. We always come back, or I always come back, to this tiny, tiny platform, except it isn't, which is Paris 1948, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, either you subscribe to the 30 articles of that declaration, or you don't. You cannot cherry pick. You can't have it, you can't have it your own way. You have to say either this is about all of us, all our brothers and sisters, irrespective of ethnicity or religion or nationality, or it isn't. But you can't cherry pick. You can't say, well, we deserve human rights, but they don't. That is called being supremacist. And there's religious supremacy and, and you know, skin color based supremacy and political supremacy and this. And that. Well, he, so that's a very important document, partly, as we know, um, written by Eleanor Roosevelt, I believe, had a huge amount to do with the wording of that declaration from 1948. When you say this, then I have to say, what about our role as liberators? You of all people, with you have with your no role as liberators. World what are you War II, World War II. You, you, you got into you World War II because Come it's on. Pearl Harbor. You, Pearl Harbor. You were completely isolationist until nine, until that sad, that devastating. I, I would argue awful we were always in, going to in get in, and that pushed us in. But thank God the United States got in. Right? You well, lost your father well, in World War II. Thank God well, yeah, the United thank States. But right? thank God the Russians had already won the bloody war almost by then. Don't forget the Ru 23 million Russians died protecting you and me you from would, the Nazi you, menace. Hey, and you would think the Russians would have learned their lesson from war and wouldn't have invaded Ukraine. Well, you, you with all your reading, I would suggest to you. Michael, <laughs> that you go away and read a bit more and then try and figure out what the United States would do if the Chinese were putting um, nuclear armed missiles into Mexico and Canada. The Chinese are too busy encircling Taiwan as we speak. Okay? They're not encircling Taiwan. Taiwan <laughs> is part of China. And oh. that's been absolutely accepted by the whole of the international community since 1948. And if you don't know that, you're not reading enough. Go and read about it. Okay. Did we solve anything here this today? Is, no. Well, yeah, we did. Well, I mean, no, we didn't. Because I mean, Nancy, you're, believe, Nancy, you're believing your propaganda, your side's propaganda. You're defining but it as Taiwan, propaganda. But Taiwan, you cannot, you can't have a conversation about human rights, and you can't have a conversation about Taiwan without actually Roger, doing the reading. Roger, if you're having a conversation about human rights, at the top of the list of offenders are the Chinese. Why is it always the Western uh, is in world? the top of why, your list? Why is it the always Chinese the Western didn't world? invade Iraq and kill a million people in 2003. In fact, as far as I can recall, hang on a minute, who have the Chinese invaded and murdered, slaughtered? In their the own. Middle? Their own. Bollocks. Okay. That's absolute <laughs> nonsense. Complete nonsense. <laughs> you should go away and read, but read some <laughs> proper Hey, my literature. problem is I spend too much time reading your liner notes, okay? Thank you for doing this. Thank I appreciate you for it. talking to me. All it's right. always a pleasure. <laughs> Is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God.